OK 了，对吧 ？OK， 呃、uh, ，Good morning, Good afternoon, and Good evening, everyone. This is、uh, Terry, a team manager from Leap Medical. Uh, I'm taking care of hemodialysis business over here, and the reason why we organize this、uh, one minute is because we are not able to discuss face to face frequently after COVID outbreaks, and more and more partners are curious about how we run a dialyzer factory. So today we're gonna take you behind the scene to a little bit, little bit closer to factory to see how we develop. And the manufacturer hemodialyzer. And before we start it, please know that during the whole conference, please feel free to leave your message or insights to host, and we will answer you immediately. At the very beginning, we would like to draw your attention with a brief introduction of Li Pu Medical, and my colleague Mrs. Jiang will deliver her speech. Let's welcome. Okay, thank you, Terry. My name is Chen. I'm the product manager of Lerpu International Marketing. Today, I would like to tell you a story of Lerpu Medical, about who we are, what we have, and how we do. Twenty-two years ago, Lerpu Medical was founded in Beijing, the capital city in China. At that time, we ran a small factory, as you can see the building in this photo. This is where our stories begin. At the very beginning, Lerpu focused on the research and development of coronary stent. We are the first Chinese company to produce and sell the cardiovascular products. And now. We still have the top one market share for coronary stent in China, and Lerpu was listed on Chinese stock market since two thousand and nine, and now we have a market cap of approximately eleven billion dollars, and we remain top five medical device company in China for past five years. Now, in two thousand and twenty one. We have already owned more than fifty subsidi subsidiaries and over ten thousand staffs around the world. Our headquarter is still based in Beijing, and we have our own new building now, and it's very close to the Great Wall. So, welcome to visit our company in the future. Lerpu is building a global leading industry chain for cardiovascular health. And also other fields, with four-in-one platform, including medical device, medicine, mobile medical, and healthcare service. As for the mobile medical, it includes the AI medical. In 2019, our AI ECG platform got FDA and CE certificate. We also research and manufacture other medical devices. Like hemodialyzers, which Terry will show you later, and hemodialysis catheter, and the central venous catheter, the CVC products, and surgical products, IVD products, etc. We have already had nearly four hundred Chinese certificates for medical device. And nearly two hundred certificates for medicine, and we also have more than one hundred CE certificates and seventeen FDA approvals. And we obtained more than four hundred local registration certificates. So most of our products are allowed to be sold all over the world. In China. Our sales network cover more than eight thousand hospitals, and over one thousand pharmacy. We have nearly two thousand distributors cover twenty twenty eight province in China. As for the global sales, we have already covered more than eighty countries and regions. 
and we have four overseas offices, one in US, one in Netherlands, one in Turkey, and one in India. And we cooperate with more than 20 global OEM partners. Let's take a look at our sales revenue from 2016 to 2020. The average annual growth rate is around 25%. Lerpool racked up more than $1.2 billion in sales last year. And we are expected to top that this year. As you can see in the graph, sales amount is more than $1 billion in the first half year. So the sales will live up to a higher expectation this year. And this graph shows the R&D investment of Lerpool Medical. From 2009 to 2020, we have already spent more than $400 million in the research and development of our new products. Until 2020, we have owned more than 1,000 patents and nearly 250 patents are pending. We make sure that we will have more new patent products in the future. Next, please welcome Terry to give us a brief introduction of OCI Medical. Well, uh, thank you, Mrs. Zhang. Uh, thanks for the presentation. Now it's my turn to introduce an overview of OCI Medical. Since OCI was established in 2005, we have made great strides in the field of kidney care. After reorganized in 12, OCI is swiftly becoming a leader in the field of hemodialysis especially in manufacturing hemodialyzers. Now we occupy the third highest market share in China. The total investment from Lipu Medical is over 15 million US dollars. And we are honored to be the first approved PES dialyzer manufacturer in China. Hereafter, we are recognized as high tech company by Chinese government and the certificated with CE mark in 2014. Now we are one of the most well-known dialyzer brands around the world to come out to China. Fiber spinning is the uh, most important and uh, complex step in the production of uh, dialyzers. Different from other suppliers in China that rely on imported fiber, we have independent R&D and upper grade capabilities of a dialyzer production line, which means we can provide not only excellent products for dialyzer distributors, but also a comprehensive solution for dialyzer manufacturers. Currently, we are running three automatic spinning lines and three assemble lines with an iNew production of 11 million dialyzers, which will be doubled in next year. Besides, the automatic glue injection system, marrow cutting technology, makes the cut face smoother than other brands. Dialyzer drying system, moreover, the whole dialyzer assemble line are all self-developed by OCI. Again, we are the only Chinese dialyzer supplier can do that. Specifically, we would like to bring you into OCI keyboard product, hemodialyzer. Usually, one dialyzer is filled with 8,000 to, to, to 15,000 pieces of PS fiber, which stands for better bell compatibility and outstanding clinical performance. Another two fancy designs we would like to emphasize are the D-sharp ring and the transparent cap, which can prevent blood leakage and residue effectively. Currently, we are, we are supplying dialyzers in two housings to cater different needs. PC, more transparent. PP, lighter and eco-friendly. 
Finally, we are at the main one tonight, which we are expecting for more than 10 minutes, OCI factory tour. As a side note, we are afraid that the video is unclear while sharing. So our host will also share the YouTube link. You can also watch it on YouTube. Anyway, let's enjoy it together. Hi, Anton, please play that video for me. Thank you. Hello, and a very warm welcome to OCI Factory here in Chengdu, China. Today, we are going to take you behind the scenes to get a bit closer to what goes on and how we develop and manufacture a hemodialyzer. We are starting here in an injection molding workshop, and it really is a workshop that never sleeps. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There are engineers and technicians here molding housing and caps of a dialyzer. At the moment, we are supplying dialyzers in two housings, PC and PP, to cater different needs. Welcome to the inner heart of OCI factory. Fiber spinning is the most important and complex step in the production of dialyzers. Different from other suppliers in China that rely on imported fiber, we have independent R&D and upgrade capabilities of dialyzer production line, which means we can provide not only excellent products for dialyzer distributors, but also a comprehensive solution for dialyzer manufacturers. It's a key performance differentiator between us and our competitors. At present, we are running three automatic spinning lines and three assembly lines with an annual production of 11 million dialyzers, which will double in 2022. Once the fiber is ready, it will be placed into housing after two inspection procedures and followed with sealing, potting, and another two inspections as we affectionately call it, make it or break it. It's where all the individual components that we've manufactured get to be tested both for reliability and integrity to make sure they're safe, but also perform at peak performance. After the above four inspection procedures, the end cap of the dialyzer will be screwed or welded according to the requirements. Again, we will inspect it to check the tightness of the end cap to prevent clinical blood and liquid leakage. We're done here in the labeling shop, where the dialyzers are labeled with a classic OCI mark in the color of blue and red. Also, we affix customized labels based on the needs of OEM partners. As we come around here, dialyzers will be sent for gamma sterilization, which will kill the remaining microorganisms and further ensure safety.
We are now here in Inspection Lab, where sampling inspection will be carried out for dialyzer. By simulating clinical use, the dialyzer will go through the sixth inspections where 20 items will be tested to make sure it's the standard of the highest quality. Lastly, OCI dialyzers will be shipped from China to international market. So far, OCI dialyzers have served CKD patients in over 55 countries. Uh, hi, all my friends. What do you think of this video? Please share your comments. It will help us to be better. And uh, probably some of our uh, friends are enjoying videos on YouTube. Let's wait a second. And lastly is the uh, Q&A session. Please feel free to raise any questions to host and we will give our answers immediately. Okay, let's see. The first question is regarding the uh, universal whether it can be used in multiple dialysis generators? Um, the answer is yes. Uh, we meet international standards, so uh, our dialyzers can be used, uh, can be commonly used to different generators. Any questions?
Okay, here we see the second question. What is your uh, steril sterilized method? Uh, as we mentioned in the uh, factory tour video, we are working with gamma sterilization, which is uh, most advanced and popular. And let's see. Uh, the third question, uh, what certificates? Uh, I guess it's, uh, it means uh, what certificates do we have? Uh, I have to say it's, it's a good question because we are, uh, how to say, we own uh, CE, CFDA, and we also approved in many other countries. Okay, next. Okay, the uh, next question is uh, your capacity. Our current capacity is uh, 11 million dialyzers per year and it will double in next year. Okay, next question. Oh. It's a great question. Do you plan to uh, manufacture uh, dialysis machines? Uh, to be honest, yes, it's under development. Okay, next question. Uh, there is a slight demand for uh, steam sterilization. Are you planning for the same? Uh, I have to say it's under consideration. We'll let you know we, if we are ready for the uh, steam sterilization. And it will be better if you can uh, leave your uh, questions together with your contact information, such as company name, uh, contact person and uh, email address, as well as phone number so that uh, our sales can reach you uh, after the conference. Hi, Terry. Uh, uh, yes. Um, some of our customers want to know the difference between PP series and PC series. Can you show us the products? Uh, yes, yes, no problem. Uh, here we have a uh, PC dialyzer uh, on my left hand and the PP dialyzer on my right hand. The difference is uh, I have uh, explained some in the PPT, like uh, the PC is more transparent and uh, it can, can be reused in some countries. And PP is lighter, as you can, as you can see and uh, it's easy to handle. And the most important, I think, from a sales perspective is most, it's more cost-effective. Okay, thank you. And um, they are interested about whether we are planning to manufacture the dialysis machine. Yes, yes, it's under development. Yeah. And is there any clinical advantage of our Hemodialyzer. Clinical advantage? Yeah. Yes, yes. And uh, but besides, I also, I also have some questions that they need some uh, detailed product information. Uh, together with clinical advantages, we will uh, send you a catalog after this conference and you will have a deeper understanding. I think we also have the catheter, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, we, we are also supplying uh, hemodialysis catheters. Yes. Yeah. 
Can you show us the? Uh, do you bring it today? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I, I didn't bring the letters, but I uh, I have blood lines here. Okay. Yes, blood lines yeah. as well as uh, fistula needles. And uh, thanks for your questions and insights. Actually, we are drawing to close uh, today, but I, I also have a question for you. That is, uh, what do you think the one minute today and what topic you want to study and learn next time, such as uh, detailed uh, product introduction or uh, uh, academic uh, conference? Uh, please just leave your message and we will prepare accordingly. Thanks. Uh, so we are coming to the end today. Uh, please leave your contact information and our sales will reach you within uh, 12 hours. And thanks again for your uh, attendance and support on Lipo Medical as well as uh, OCI Medical. Uh, we Excuse will also- uh, Sorry, Terry. Uh -huh. um, there's still some questions. Um, they want to know some academic conference or uh, marketing activities that uh, you will hold next year. Is there any plans? Uh, yes, yes. And yes, uh, yes, we'll do. Actually, we uh, mm -hmm. we will also chair two uh, two webinars. Uh, Tomorrow and the day after tomorrow with uh, Spanish and Russian language. Yes, so please uh, keep focusing us and uh, follow us on uh, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, and everything. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. So we are coming to the end today. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks again. And uh, we hope you a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs>